This fourth avoidable mistake can happen really across the entire test, math, reading, writing, but I particularly find this uh, relevant for reading and that it's not answering the question. So a lot of times when test takers read the question, they'll proceed to answer it. They'll go to the passage, they'll check the choices, they'll do all the work they need to do, but they'll be answering the question they remember reading, not the actual question, like what the question says. Of course, we're, we're, we're basing our answer on what we remember reading, but they remember a version of the question that may not actually be the question, or they are answering a question that's sort of like incomplete. There's other clues in the question that can help you find that answer. So we've talked a lot about you know evaluating choices, being thorough. For this one, it's evaluate the question. Like make sure you really understand what the question is looking for, and make sure you find the clues in that question that can help you find the answer. So for this one, according to Maxwell, what is the most significant consequence of the initiative discussed in line 55? There's a few things that I'm focused on here. You know, the obvious is the low line reference. We know the answer to this is going to be somewhere around 55. Uh, clearly, something about this initiative discussed in line 55. You know, so a lot of students are going to kind of go to line 55 and they're going to start reading and start. Look, evaluating choices. But there's some important clues here, some things to really look for as we're reading that's going to help us get the answer. First, the answer here has got to be according to Maxwell. So who's Maxwell? Is Maxwell the author? I mean, probably not. It would probably say according to the author of the passage. But so who's Maxwell? Whatever we're finding about this initiative, it's got to be Maxwell's opinion, not the author, not Jones or Smith. Maxwell specifically. So a lot of times students go to the passage and they forget we're looking for what Maxwell thinks. And the second clue that can really help you figure this out is not just, of course, you know, what the uh, significant consequence of this initiative is. I think a lot of students are going to be looking for that. But really important here, um, what is the most significant consequence? So for example, in these lines, they may list out two or three consequences of this initiative. But what we're looking for is the most significant. So the passage might even say something like, you know, most of all, or most serious of all, or something like that. Um, you, know, most seri uh, you know, most of all, Maxwell believes that this can lead to, like that sort of language, mentioning Maxwell, mentioning the most significant consequence in line 55 or around 55 about the initiative. They're giving you a lot of clues here. So make sure that you understand what the question's asking for. Make sure you've extracted all of the clues that you can from that question to uh, help you find where the answer is gonna be. Uh, and yeah, just make sure you're using every drop of information from that question that you can. Before you go to the choices, while you're reading the passage, it's a good idea if you get stuck on a question, reread the question, make sure you didn't misread something, make sure you didn't miss something, and that's going to help you be as efficient and accurate as possible when it's time to actually answer that question.